What is going on, my beautiful weeps? It's your boy Burke, and I'm back giving you another Mass Star Media a uh, banger. And this one, Enemy War bracket Omni Broly, because we know from the Enemy War there's Omni Vegeta, Omni Goku, and I think that's about it. I don't know. Do you did a fusion? I don't think so. I haven't seen Anime War since he dropped it and I probably put like a little uh, annotation right here. I'm gonna go check it out. My reaction to Anime War episode 12, I believe. Without further ado, oh, before that, if you're brand new, make sure to subscribe. I'll be waiting. You subscribe? Have you become an Ascended Weeb? All right, let's get right into the video. This is a fan animation, yes. All right, we got the whole squad. We got the villains. That's a uh, Goku Black. Joe Hosu Shio Konati Sebasa, Doshi. Kono Yobisawash, Sore was sent to Ishte, whatever I was tea to you. So. わかった。何もないならば殲滅ということでよい。あ、水槽。For one quick second. So first, Broly gets revived as the legendary Super Saiyan. So he's not in his base form. He's already like a legendary Super Saiyan form. And now I don't. He just. I feel this power, and then Ba just boosts up and it's already Omni. Like what? Ridiculous. なお No. No. Wait, 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 what? I thought it was about Broly, but my boy Whis just went pa 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 and revived motherfucking Bardock? Bro, what? What is this nonsense? What? God, I'm shook. Oh, me walking Broly. もう少しの辛抱です。
方は行くかまさにウゴウの衆よーし行くぞはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいIn the original script of Anime War, Omni Broly actually was supposed to come back in episode 8. Originally, Anime War was only supposed to have 10 episodes, but some episodes proved to be much more difficult than others, taking a lot longer to produce. And in the end, I actually had to skip some of the content from Anime War just so that I could actually finish this series. So, that animation that you just watched was a little bit of what was supposed to happen in the original script. Basically, once all of the evil gods reconvene, which we saw from Anime War Episode 10, they were actually supposed to summon Broly before they fused.、Oh, And the reason for this is because in the original script, they were supposed to need Saiyan blood in order for their fusion to work and break all of the limiters, becoming as strong as Zeno. That's why back in Goku vs. Saitama, which I later renamed the Invasion of Dark Goku, Dark Goku explained that if he fused with Goku, they would be stronger than the Omni King. But what he was really trying to do was fuse with Goku, and then that fusion would actually fuse with the rest of the evil gods to become Archon.、Oh. That should have g a v e them enough power to not even have to actually Dark Siphon. But the Dark Siphoning of all of the heroes was actually Plan B since Dark Goku was destroyed. And now that he was destroyed, they were going to resurrect him in order to perform the fusion. But it turns out that since Since Broly is in that universe, he's a much more pure, much more powerful Saiyan, and resurrecting him was a way better option. Now, there was supposed to be a line where s e b u s would say, I can resurrect him, but he won't have dark siphoning because we won't have time to teach him that. And Zorama was going to say, That's okay, bring him to life anyway. So, the reason the evil gods are able to do this dark resurrection, which they basically okay, sacrifice an evil god in order to okay, resurrect look, another person,、up. first being. No, yeah. I love ads. Let's go! Dark Goku now being Broly, it's very similar, if not identical, to the way that the Elder Kai gave his life to Goku in order to resurrect him. So the evil gods have figured out their own method of resurrection, and with this dark resurrection, they give Broly the Omni form and the Patara earrings. Now, as we saw Whis resurrect Frieza in the final episode of Dragon Ball Super, Whis can resurrect anybody without having to sacrifice a life. So, in that, he was going to resurrect Bardock, unlocking his potential and basically allowing him to go Omni form as well with two limiters. And so, the fight was going to be Omni Broly with one limiter versus Goku and Bardock with two limiters. And Vegeta with his royal bloodline、oh, one limiter. Oh, so he gave Bardock Now, and Broly Goku a the... two limiter, while Broly and Vegeta with the one limiter. Oh. That's crazy. Dark siphoning ability, everybody else was going to pitch in. It's particularly Beerus and Whis were going to fight a lot against Omni Broly. That's something that I really wanted to show you guys. I wanted to have more fighting with、oh, Whis, and that、oh, was supposed to be one part where he'd、Flashbacks. actually be able to、no. do a lot of hand to hand combat since he wouldn't have to worry about Zurama or the other evil gods siphoning his god key. They were supposed to have an incredibly epic fight. At one point, Broly was going to turn into an Omni Ozaru form. And Broly's Omni Ozaru form was just supposed、Omni、to be crazy、Ozaru、destructive,、form. like blowing up chunks of the planet. The, and all the other fighters, the heroes in Anime War, were supposed to be pitching in, trying to do anything they could to basically prevent the Earth from exploding from all the destructive damage of Omni Ozaru Broly. And I was also thinking about potentially, since Bardock does have a tail, giving him an、oh. Omni Ozaru form. Too, so, there'd be two Omni great apes fighting against each other. I debated that in my head, but I didn't come to a definitive decision over whether or not I actually wanted to do that because it kind of makes sense if there's a fake moon in the sky or a full moon and Omni Broly transforms, then Bardock should as well. But I never got around to thinking about how exactly that would end. But、right. that was a little piece all, of potential lot, story that I could have included. Uzaro, Omni Uzaro, a great ape. What? What would it be like? A white great ape? What? Oh my goodness. 
That would look sick. And basically what was going to happen was Bardock, even though he was just resurrected, was actually going to sacrifice himself to save Goku. And in doing so, Goku ah. would lose his mind and break his final limiter. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen my Goku Reaches His Highest Form video, which has some of Anime War Episode 13 in it. And that's because I had to change the script since I cut out this original part. Instead of Goku searching deep within himself and finding Bardock there, instead he was supposed to meet him in the real oh, world. Bardock would sacrifice himself to save Goku. Goku would break his limiter and lose his mind. And then he and Vegeta would end up beating Broly and that's when a beaten and battered Broly would take off his Patara earring with oh, the rest of the evil gods and form Archon sick, which would basically there. start off at Anime War episode 11. Now I started writing this script like three or four years ago basically once I decided to make Goku vs Saitama an entire series and leave it open-ended so I could eventually get into Anime War I had the whole script planned out and so back then Broly was still a major fan favorite character there was only one Broly, the movie wasn't revealed yet, or it, we didn't even know about a movie back then. So with the release of the new Broly, I also kind of took that as a note that maybe I don't want to include Broly in Anime War. What if you include the new one and people say they want the old one? What if you do vice versa? It kind of lost a little bit of its value now that there's essentially two Brolys. So I just... So he had all this in mind, like way before, but... Damn, just imagined. Omni Broly? against Omni uh, Goku with one limiter or no with two limiters Omni Vegeta with one limiter and Bardock being revived by Whis uh, has two limiters against Broly oh my that would have been so lit Master Media every single anime or episode video keeps me speechless and shook but man I just cannot Wait for Anime War, the grand finale of Anime War. Uh, I don't know when he's gonna drop it. I think he said either October, November, around that time, I think. But sometime in 2020. So there you guys have my reaction to Omni, uh, Anime War, Omni Broly. If you're brand new, make sure to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bells right next to the subscription button. Leave a like and comment down below how shook were you when you see Broly and Bardock be revived. Catch you on the next one.